Okay guys, so this is a quick video to demonstrate on how to check uh, your wiring harness for continuity. Uh, it's not a full wiring harness that we're going to be testing, just a couple of components just to demonstrate on how it's done. For that we need a multimeter uh, and we need to set the multimeter at the right setting. For this particular exercise we can simply just put it on the buzzer setting uh, where when we connect two probes together it just gives us a sound, continuous sound. So that's the continuity buzzer there. Or if you didn't have that facility, which I think in all the multimeters we do, but if you didn't have it for any reason, you can also check it on the ohm setting, uh, where something that is continuous and has very less resistance, which should be the case within the boiler wiring, uh, you are looking at very low ohms reading. Uh, but for this exercise, we will just concentrate on the quick buzz test just to make sure it's continuous. Okay, so now that the meter is set to correct setting here, depending on what we want to check, uh, in many cases we want to check our wiring harness, uh, in particular going between NTCs or gas valves for example, and the board, the very first thing we need to do is to trace where that cable is going. Now, in some cases, it can be quite difficult because some wiring harnesses are wrapped. Uh, I've got one sat on the table, which I'll try to demonstrate. So, for example, majority of the wiring harnesses are just in a sleeve like this. It's in this kind of a shape. So they, then it does become a bit difficult to try to trace it because you can't really put your finger on it and say, OK, that cable is going all the way from here to there. So once you've traced it, then it's the matter of testing. Now, the easiest way of tracing a cable or uh, finding out where it finishes on the PCB is to check with the people who have manufactured this appliance. So just have a quick look uh, in the manufacturer's instructions. And normally you get a diagram that explains that the cables that are going to, let's say, a thermistor, where are they connected to on the PCB and which connector. So that way you can easily find out now this is a valent boiler and I've got a valent manual here, it's a generic one, it's an installer's manual but it does demonstrate where the cables are going. So on here for example it tells us that we have a flow and return NTCs here and the cables are connected to this red connector. The return one which is the blue thermistor on the boiler which is on the back pipe. Number eight is the cable which is normally the red cable and the earth is normally demonstrated with the black cable so the earth should be number seven and the red one should be number eight similarly for flow which is the red one the red cable is number five and black cable is still number seven the earth which is this connector here so let's just have a quick look connector itself as you can see is this connector that's red. I'll take you slightly closer to it. So it's this red connector that you can see. Now according to our book the return is connected to number 8 which is this cable. So that's coming from the blue thermistor and the cable is blue also and then the earth for the same thermistor is this black one here and then one for flow NTC is this red with this black. So now that we're going to check it, if we are checking the flow NTC, we need to go between this point on the connector and the red cable that is on the thermistor itself, which is just there. So let's have a quick look. What we need to do now is we need to make sure our multimeter is in working order. So when we check it, it does make a sound. Let me just adjust the angle slightly for you. Now that we've made sure our meter is working, what we need to do is we can simply just remove the connector, which comes in various shapes, obviously. Oh, we removed one. The second one came out of the flow sensor as well. Let's put that back on for now. So we've ended up with this connector having one point on the connector itself. Let's just connect it to the red cable which you can see I'm connecting one side to red cable 
holding it there on the other side of the meter now and putting it onto the red cable on the connector and as you can hear it's making a continuous sound which means this cable is okay it's always good to move these cables about slightly just in case if there was a break and that's not showing right now but if you just move these cables about just slightly let me just put this probe in here and if you move this harness about it's always good to just make sure that the brake is not hidden away and it's not showing continuous whilst it isn't it isn't when you put this flat up flat back up so that's the way of testing a cable for continuity now similarly if we want to check the black cable next to it we will go between black on the connector and black on the actual cable end that's feeding the thermistor or NTC and it will show continuous if it is continuous if there's a break in it it will show that it isn't continuous obviously so that's how you can simply test it using your multimeter that it is continuous or not I hope that helps if it doesn't and if you want me to demonstrate it in a different format in a different way with a bit more detail uh, please do let me know and I will try to demonstrate it so you understand it better. Thanks for watching. Bye.